Now, Joe Biden is almost definitely running for president. I know, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, come on, Jeff, it's way too early to talk about 2020. You don't know who's going to be running. Well, we've got several on the Democratic side, uh, possibly Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, definitely. Um, I think she's definitely being groomed by the establishment. And then Joe Biden. Now, there have been pre previous reports where Biden had been attempting to position himself as the so-called centrist in the race, right? Well, uh, hey, man, that's exactly what we need. We need a fucking centrist, right? <laughs> Go status quo. Ugh. I'm sure that will be very popular with the Democratic establishment. But again, I think they've already made their pick with Kamala Harris. Like, maybe had Biden ran in 2016, he would have had a shot. But now it's over. It's over. But nonetheless, I think he's still going to end up running. Now, speaking of the establishment, uh, Joe Biden has decided to defend the establishment by taking a few shots at Bernie. Now, according to The Hill, the former vice president on Tuesday told an Alabama crowd that wealthy Americans are just as patriotic as Americans with lower income, making a point of contrasting his remark with Bernie Sanders. Stumping for Democratic Senate nominee Doug Jones, Biden said the former U.S. attorney grasps fairness when it comes to the issue of taxes. Quote, Doug understands about tax fairness. Guys, the wealthier is just as patriotic as the poor. I know Bernie doesn't like me saying that, but they are. Okay, hold on there, buddy. No, look, for one, nobody says that rich people aren't patriotic or can't be patriotic. That's fucking ridiculous. There's a group out there called the Patriotic Millionaires. You know what their main issue is? Hey, you should tax me more so I can give back to the country. That's what the whole, that's what the whole argument is about. Right now, we do have a class of people who are very wealthy who have decided, hey, you know what? I'm not going to pay my taxes. In fact, I'm going to shift my tax burden onto you, the middle class and the poor. Well, so Bernie says something against that. And now Joe Biden's like, oh, you're saying that they're not patriotic. Come on. It's, it's again, this is a ridiculous argument um, by Joe Biden. Uh, but it shows that he's trying to, of course, contrast himself with Bernie Sanders. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the other thing, right? Giving back to your country is and paying your fair share is patriotic. Again, there's progressives out there that are trying to point that out. Now, uh, since multinational corporations cannot be patriotic because they're amoral machines, cutting their taxes and saying that they can be patriotic it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But anyway, uh, Bernie Sanders has railed against the idea, and many progressives alongside of him uh, have railed against the idea of giving gi tax, uh, gigantic tax cuts to the rich and corporations. And of course, Biden comes back saying, no, 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 uh, no, uh, actually, uh, we should call them uh, patriotic for not paying their taxes or something. I don't know. I, I don't necessarily get it. Uh, why, why the dig at Bernie? Uh, why? Why? Look, tax fairness is making sure that everybody pays their fair share in taxes, okay? It's to make sure that corporations stop getting away with paying less and sticking more to the middle class, which right now, because of the loopholes, the wealthy in corporations do pay less than regular people. Now, I'm not quite getting his point other than to, hey, I'm not Bernie and I'm not talking like Bernie. It's because he's trying to run against Bernie. Now, if not him, of course, uh, then definitely against Bernie Sanders' ideas. Now, the thing about Joe is that he is fairly popular. He's a very popular politician. He's, I, I believe he's the second most popular or maybe third most popular politician in the country. Uh, and look, I don't even think he's a bad person, but you've got to remember that he is part of the establishment. And in so uh, being part of the establishment, one of the things that you have to do is to defend the establishment. And that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, and I don't think it's going to go well for Joe. Uh, centrism, not exactly popular right now, especially in the Democratic Party. You've got Bernie Sanders, that is an 82% uh, or 92% approval rating among Democrats. 8% of them are like, go establishment, we're still with her. Well, you, good luck with that. Uh, but the rest of us are actually going to move on and look towards people with, even if it's not Bernie Sanders, you look for people with 
progressive positions, populist positions. Because at the end of the day, we're not sharing for Team Democrat. What we're doing is that we're focusing on policy and whoever is going to bring them the good policy. And that's what it's all about. And Joe, unfortunately, doesn't seem to understand that. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.